What's up, guys? Brendan Burbank here, and uh, it's another awesome episode to talk to you guys about a, a specific topic that really pertains to um, pretty much everybody's life, but I'm going to really f- kind of narrow that margin down to just specifically talking about folks who have a mental illness or mental health condition um, or who are just battling with depression, anxiety, um, and mental health related um, issues. So um, obviously I'm, I'm very passionate about speaking about mental health and personal development. And so my goal today in this video is to help give you more perspective and understanding of my own um, abilities that I've been able to achieve throughout my life in terms of essentially establishing successful goals and holding myself accountable to those goals until they are met. So with that being said, the the title today and today's topic is New Year, New You. How are you going to make 2024 your best year yet? So ask, asking yourself that question right now and about what it is that you're struggling with, what it is that you need to combat in your own internal way of thinking about how you view yourself and view other people is going to be a tremendous focal point about what I would hope to to provide for you all today in this um, in this episode. Um, so I'm not going to really speak much about um, SMART goals, which is a very good way of establishing goals for anybody essentially who is trying to create success and momentum in their own way. Um, But I will talk more about some of the ideas and components that have helped me grow and find stability through the challenges that I've faced personally throughout my life story. Um, So let's start with this. What's worked for me and my success to achieve my goals? A strong level of commitment and purpose. Talking about when I want to establish these goals and and looking years back in the past and how I've manifested these dreams and these goals of mine that I felt, felt, keyword, feel like I could achieve years ago. And so because of that strong desire, that strong purpose and passion to achieve those goals... Ultimately, I I put myself out there by essentially taking calculated risks in my own journey in order to achieve the goals that I've achieved now in my life. And now that looking forward, there's so many abundant opportunities to continue to, to manifest what I want to obtain in my own life. And so my encouragement to you all, if, who, for, if you are struggling with the, uh, mental health recovery, or you're just feeling really discouraged in your life, is to really start pondering what it is that you want to obtain, whether it be spiritually, socially, relationally, monetarily. All of those aspects are so important for reflection. And so when you do create your own goals, how are you standing by those goals and asking yourself, well, am I going to be accountable to live up to the responsibility, the amount of effort and work and dedication is, that's required of me to obtain that goal. And that's kind of where the problem is with many people in this world who have these goals and have these dreams and, and desires, yet that you, you wonder, what, you, never go, you never achieve the goal. Why, why is that? Well, I, my... My perspective of that is you didn't fulfill what was required of the the goal to achieve that goal. Some of the things that are the components that are required of being able to achieve success and the goals that you want to obtain require a strong amount of character, a strong amount of resiliency, purpose, persistence, and those are the hands down fundamental components that are created through time and through effort. And I speak for myself and my own development and my own abilities to change my life and grow to become the person that I am today. So that's enough for what's worked for me and my success. I'm going to talk more about 
how I have utilized my time wisely to create growth both professionally and personally. Let's start with personally. The, the amount of times where I've had different challenges and social isolation and social anxiety problems that have really stemmed from my past experiences in my own life journey have really, they've given me an opportunity where many, many, many folks would have given up or, or just not been able to live up to their full potential. And so for me, every single day when I get out of bed, I think to myself, well, this is a new day. This is a new opportunity. And so looking back at my own story and my own challenges that I've overcome, I, f I find myself being able to be more aware and more accepting of what it took, what it required of me to get to this point in my life. And so kind of with the, the growth at a personal level, when there's been times, countless numbers of times when I did not achieve what I believe I could have achieved in that, in that moment. However, there was other times when I did try my best to just being, being present with other people in a social environment, for example. And so as that has continued to transpire and, and, and life has continued to progress onwards, and yes, I do still carry these challenges that I still have to navigate through, it doesn't stop me from allowing myself to be vulnerable and, and authentic at the right timing and place. And that's an important part is because if you are around a, a, an environment that is not healthy, that is toxic, that is abusive, that is challenging for your own self to recognize your potential, my encouragement to you is get out immediately. Because that's going to help you find yourself, again, regain mental clarity, regain self-control and self-awareness of yourself in which you can then leverage that to live your life in the best possible way you, that you can. So why does that have to do with goals? Well, by recognizing what is it that actually has a problem or a, a stress point in your own mind, in your own heart, and recognizing that that is an, a unique challenge to you and you alone, you can start to set up goals around that pain point, around that problem, and start taking action today, in this very second, while we're watching this video, and thinking about what it is that you can do that you haven't done that is gonna help you elevate your life to the next level of who you can and already are as a person on the inside and out. Okay, so now professionally. So obviously I've been speaking professionally for about two years now and I have gone through a significant amount of hardship relating to mental health challenges and my ability to not give up on myself and my dreams to inspire the mental health community. As a result, professionally, the growth that was required of me to get to the, the point where I'm at today was a lot of passion and purpose and desire. Those three things that just come to mind right now is so pivotal and immensely important for me at least to maintain and continue to contribute value to my the market that I want to serve, which is the mental health community. So my question to you is if you are, you know, in a unemployment situation or if you are at a, at a corporate job or, or working a nine to five and you are asking yourself, well, am I fulfilled right now? Or what is my end goal? What is my end goal career related wise? How are you really starting to set the foundation work of your own life for, at a professional level so that way you can, knowing what you know and the gifts that you have to contribute to the world that nobody else can, how can you leverage that in order to gain more opportunities to contribute your 
your talents and your gifts towards others in this world. I can guarantee you right now on that note is that other people want and, and actually need what it is that you can contribute on the inside of yourself. I believe that because I know that I have gifts and I have talents and, um, and abilities that no other pe person on this planet has. That doesn't mean they're similar. That Of course, that we have similar similarities and similar components and ideas, but that does not necessarily mean that they can be me ever. And I can't be you ever. As a result, that's just my couple of questions to help you think about for yourself and how you're progressing professionally as well as personally. With that being said, why are goals so important to have in your life for your recovery? Goals are a great way to work on your recovery because of the fact that it can help give you a streamlined approach that gives you purpose and a, a, a lane that can help give you direction. So for example, life can get very chaotic and very overwhelming, which we all know and understand very well. However, if you have a purpose and a, and a focal point that is helping you maintain progression and direction in your life, you can utilize that to the best of your abilities to get out of the situation that you're in, in your life right now. It all it takes is a switch of your mindset to think about, am I on pace towards achieving that goal? And as you are thinking about that and act actively implementing the necessary efforts that are tangible in your life to achieve that goal, I guarantee you, you are going to feel immensely better than you do prior. I know that because I believe that and I know that it's worked for me. Um, for example, when I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder at the age of 19, there was many challenges in this time of my life where I was trying to find success and find my own lane. As a result, the lane found me or what I believe more deeply is that God put this into my life for a reason. So as a result, I chose to take on the responsibilities and burdens and learning through the, the importance of, of wellness and the importance of having, us, uh, um, having the ability to successfully manage my condition and life, which is a lot. And I can totally empathize with all of you in this um, episode right now. So my point is, Ask yourself some questions deeply to help you direct yourself towards the, the lane, the purpose, the direction that you'd like to take your life. If you want to be successful, you can do it. But if you don't want to be successful, well, that's your choice too. If you want to be successful, but you quit, there's nobody to blame but you. I speak... Uh, I say that as real as possible because that's the truth. And life is very, very difficult at times, but it doesn't have to be if you choose to embrace your abilities and start to take on some quality traits that are positive and that are influential for you and that can help you continue on in your purposeful and meaningful based life. My last question to you. And how do you start incorporating goals into your life to spark growth? So that might be different for everybody in how they view the world, how they view other people and their own life. But the, the, at the foundational level, what I can tell you right now is that if you have a stronger sense of self, a stronger sense of self-esteem, a stronger sense of purpose, and you can really actively apply what is necessary on a daily basis, those goals can become realities soon enough. So I really hope that this was helpful for you in your life and is as we transition to 2024, which has uh, an abundance of opportunities to, to be happy and to learn and to, to grow and find wellness. And so I'm gonna leave you with that. With that. But um, I, ho I really hope that you enjoyed this video and um, cheers to Happy New Year and have a great day, guys. Take care.